Talk about a hair-raising experience, the introduction of 75 bunnies. Those selected from among 1,600 applicants to don Playboy Bunny outfits when the club opens next month. Parking was scarce, as was air, as the crowd met a variety of blondes, brunettes, former stewardesses, lawyers, waitresses, secretaries, and a host of other occupations deserted to become bunnies. More than half of the women selected are from the San Diego area, with applicants coming as far away as London. Most look at their new job as a challenge and not as exploitation. I think it's going to be the greatest thing. It, this is going to be the greatest, this is going to be the place to be, is what it amounts to. This is going to be, this is like a dream. It's a little scary, but um, it's fun. It's really fun to have all these people. It's great. No reservations at all. It's been a lot of fun, great, and none of, we all can't wait to get started. The new bunnies will be promoting and going through training until the new club opens. If you see any of my friends, just tell them that it was just another hard day at the office. I.J. Hudson, News 8, the Playboy Club. Not having a liquor license wasn't enough to keep the Playboy Club from opening, nor to keep hundreds of patrons from turning out. But the owner's hopes of getting the license any day now appears dim in light of the Alcoholic Beverage Control Board's estimate that it may take until next month to complete its investigation. So it's virgin daiquiris and soda drinks for a while, and no hip pocket flasks are allowed. I wish I could have gotten a Budweiser tonight, but I, I can wait until tomorrow. It's a disappointment, but I guess we could all go straight one night. The fact there isn't a liquor license doesn't make any difference because it's just a fantastic thing. I saw many bunny clubs in New York, Washington, so it's nice San Diego to have too. It's dull. I expected there to be some dancing, but all you can do is sit around. Now they're not serving alcohol. You think that's going to be a problem? for the club until they get the license? Not to me, I just I brought my own. You know. People know how to take care of themselves. Leisure Systems Incorporated has poured nearly $2 million into renovating the former D.O. Mills Saloon, and while liquor isn't being poured, the restaurant trade was flowing strong. About half the 7,000 key holders got their $25 first year's dues for free, but there's a long line of applicants and a week's worth of sellouts booked for the cabaret show. As well as the first night seems to have gone, the club is opening at a time when financial analysts think the sun might be setting on Playboy's empire. And unless its fortunes run much better than Hugh Hefner's have lately, the bunnies can only hope they don't become an endangered species. Gene Cubison, News 8, Mission Valley.